Daniel 3, 16, 16 to 19. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king. Look at these three Hebrew young men. What made them? What made them so confident? What, 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 what brought them to that place of the full persuasion and audacity? You know, in those days, you don't fool with the kings of those days. The king's word is law. They didn't have democracy in those days. They had no parliament, council. They don't have any. Whatever the king desired was law. And he could take anybody's life. And they understood the times they lived, they lived in and what could happen to them. You don't fool with the king of Babylon. You just don't fool with it. But, but look at it. Look at what they said. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, uh -huh. we are not careful to answer the. They said, this they said, we are not considering this thing. We are not thinking about it. There's no negotiation about it. We are not considering it. We know where we stand. There's no compromise in this matter. If it be so, uh -huh. our God whom we serve is able to You see that word us. again? You see that word again? He's what? He's what? Able. A -B -L -E. Again, he's what? Able. Talk to me. He's. Able. He Able. And he's. 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 Able. he's, Able. he's, Able. he's Our God whom we serve. Our God whom we serve. Every now and then. No. We serve him every now and then. But whom we serve. Is what? Able. He's what? Able. That word he is able is based on a personal experience. They've encountered his power to deliver. They've seen the deliverance of God before. And therefore, it wasn't a problem at all. They understood. They had an understanding which was based on an experience and an encounter. Go ahead. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Somebody say no compromise. Say no compromise. But what makes what makes young men of that today young men they compromise. Today young men and women that's why you youth you have to hear me and you need to hear me because I've been doing this for 45 years. I have walked many paths. I've walked through many valleys, crossed many rivers, and I'm still crossing. And I've climbed many mountains, and I've conquered many territories, and I've lost some battles in life, and won some. So hear me. Every shortcut shall cut you short. Don't take a shortcut. Don't go the easy way. Don't be a convenient churchgoer and a Christian. Don't do what is convenient. Don't do what everybody is doing. I know you want to be relevant. I know you want to become somebody. I know you want to have wealth. I know you want money. I know you want to drive the best and eat the good and have the good. But the Bible said, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Then the Bible said, if you serve me and obey me, if you serve me and obey me, you will live your years and your days in prosperity and in pleasures. God said, I will guarantee that. Don't take a shortcut. Today, generation, people don't care in compromising anything for what they want. They don't compromise anything. Young girls, young men will compromise anything for something. It, God is not against you getting things, but he's against the wrong way of getting it. Now, don't achieve your goals by killing somebody. Don't lie on somebody. Don't cheat. Don't destroy. Don't exploit. Don't take advantage of. Don't make it at the expense of the suffering of the masses. Be careful how.